Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how I made this heavy destroyer guns. Because I'm sick of looking for these guns, because I cannot find metal ones anyway. And they're not buying that resin crap. So anyway, if you look at this gun, right, does that really scream Strength 9 AP2 instant kill in space means to you? No, it just looks like it's just been chucked together, it looks like crap. Or does this gun look better? Yeah, and this one looks like it's nasty. Just imagine when it's painted. Okay, I'll show you how I made this. Um. Okay, here I'm using a three millimeter styrene strip. It's uh, around two, hollow on the inside. You guess hollow one if you want. This is what I had on me. Cut the trough the size of the gun, but a little bit shorter, like a centimeter shorter. Okay, I can make a fire so they're all done. This is uh, 8 mm slide 2. You cut one size of the back end of the gun, and one for the middle, on the same size, and one for the end. I use the pipe cutter here, because I never seem to be able to cut a straight cut with a hacksaw. So I just thought I'd give this a go. Well, it turns out quite well, actually, as you can see. Yep, awesome. Okay, I have one there, and one in the middle there. So it looks similar to the original gun. Yep, let's do it. Now for the back, roughly the same size, just for competitive play. No people call you a cheater if you're a tall one or anything. Keep the same size. Yep, just use this again. You can get it at the dollar store, pound shop, wherever you live. Do it on a quid. Even in the hardware store, you know, really cheap. Yep, there you go. Nice clean cut. Awesome. Down a bit. And then just cut some more because I want five more. Yep. There you go. Give it a little clean after you don't cut it. You might have a bit of oil, grease, or rust on the pipe, and the glue will set, the paint will set to it. Especially your white roll down. Get your poly cement, your hobby glue. You can use super glue if you want, but the uh, cement's much stronger in the long run. If you can spend hours on a bottle, you don't fall apart, you. I'm actually bu building this gun like this to make sure as you can actually pick it up by the gun it will fall apart or snap when you carry it. I push the two strips together, like this. Add a bit more glue and put another strip on the top so you got three. Do a bead, go side to side to so make sure they'll actually touch the actual the extra one you put on. It'll give it a really real lot of strength. Give it a lot of strength. There you go. So I just check the top on there now. Okay, so flat once you get this on. Okay, so nice and flat, so you can wedge your gates so it's nice and even. If you pallet you, just push it in. Do it with the back end, just the front end going to be level. Give it a nice little whack, there you go. Nice and level. Okay, now these are all done. This one's done. Do the other ones now, nice and quick. Ooh, this is the one I did earlier. Get the back end. Shove it on, just have a quick reference how big it's going to be. Cut that flash off, we can't get in otherwise. Come on, there we go. This one's quite tight. Yep, you can see it's in shape already. Let's just, just, just eyeball it up. Use the original gun if you haven't already made one. Once you've made one gun, make sure they're all the same so they're nice and uniform. Nice and right, so glue this down. Glue the end, that's a bit, that's not, not straight. This is the end that you did, did not hit with a flat surface. Okay, you probably get one or two bits a bit bigger than the other, which is not a big deal. Glue the outside of the pipe because it's pointing through the inside, you won't touch anything, you stick to it. Right, shove it on. If you get on that. Uh, one sec. Go on. That's the other side. Okay, there we go. There you go. Right, push it in to the, rough, to the same size, or the size of the original gun. Then you'll have a little lip on the end, because that will actually get rid of the uneven levels of the pipes. So you've got to trim it down, and worry about cutting them too much. Too much. Wipe off the excess glue, so it looks nice and neat. Awesome. Do these ones really quick. 
buy these little things you have. Get the flash of it. You should this earlier, sorry. Okay. I push a ball for the gun before glue it. <laughs> you want to glue the first one, you can't glue it up. Now get the original one to show how I did it. You will line up the original gun. If you have garlic, just gas. You have a failure. Refuse the original one, it just looks cool. There you go. So, right, but just to show if it worked, let's get the other one made. Yep, the same spot, perfect. So, push the ball down a little bit for this spot to go, like so. Do the outside. I do the outside, we just went. Now we'll do the inside. Go, and we put all the glue, twist it. So, all the glue will get pushed into the joint to set on the outside so it's nice and crisp. Yeah, that's what right. Then do the same with the middle one. Right, just twist it onto the joint. It's quite tough to get. You have to be able to twist so the glue is out of the way, you can't see it. There we go, looking good. Solid. Right, to the rest of them. There we go. That's what I just did. Looking good. Just for added effect though, it's good like that if you really, you know, in a rush. You get a 10 millimeter pipe, so it fits nice and snug. This one. And now, cut some things off here. Cut some little sections off here. And just because I'm really lazy, I use my drill for this, but I just couldn't bother to cut all the little bits off. So if you're lazy, we just chuck the pipe in your drill and use the pipe here. Just keep cutting them off like that. It's lazy, but who cares? Boom. There we go. Right, push the nice biggish one on there. Give it a little lip on the end. That way you can add some effect with the airbrush and glowy effect if you want. The medium size one in the middle, if you get on there. So come on. Ah. There we go. Uh, the big one on the end. Just for rough, just so that, yeah, rough size. There you go. Put just add a more effect, cut them thinner and add more, or make it bigger. You can add some notches to them to add effect, like zigzags or squares. You know, your imagination's a little bit. Uh, just go around this with some glue. I'm gonna probably put some extra glue on that. Yeah, it's quite a big piece, yep. Yeah. I put some glue on this, extra glue. I always put extra glue on. What do you can't see it though? So then buy my balls off, you can never get apart. <laughs> I push it on, go over the circle motion. So make sure all the glue is nice and evenly spread out. Give yourself a lip, so you can a glowy effect with the airbrush layer. And it looks nice and neat. Yep, that's good. Same with the middle one. Try to give it the same spot. If you haven't already done one, this will be the original gun, so make sure you give it a nice spot you like the look of. Just add some glue. Paint on the glue. There we go. Put on the glue like this. Wipe off that glue now. Just give this last one on. Give me sure goes over the edge so you can't really see. This is it, yeah. You got some glue like this. And when it's over the edge, Ed, you will have that effect to the back of the gun in a minute. So you want it just a slight lift. This was 100% straight, I can actually use the hacks off this. I got so annoyed, I got the, <laughs> get the drill out, because I'm quite lazy. Clean off the glue, like so, so it's nice and crisp. And boom, finished! Well, almost finished. One little add more deal to add to it. Just to go show you quickly how I put the guns on. If you have a heavy destroyer already built, or you buy a second hand like I do, just slip off the arm where the gun connects. Try to slip it off. There you go. Clean the arm. Where's the where's, um, cut the flash? It was actually snap the arm off. <laughs> so I glue the arm back on. Like so. That's good. Just glue it back on like this. I think it's the arm this time. You want to do all this in one go, so it's nice and loose. So you can actually get the position of the fire angle that you want. So don't stick the arm on and let it dry. 
But make sure you put glue here, because these guns are really big. You don't want the arm to be taking all the weight. So the rest of the gun on the heavy, the heavy destroyer itself, and that way it'll be nice and solid. They won't be falling apart, you won't be snapping or anything. You don't care if you go to tall ones or your club. So you put a bit of glue in between the two connector pieces at the top as well. That'll go on the arm itself, I that arm fell off. Hold on a sec, let's grab the arm. There we go. Put the one here again. So it's quite fiddly because you have to do so many joints at once without it being dry. But it does pay off. It's because I angle it lovely. Okay, with the, you want to connect it to the it, with the two smaller the smaller pipe on the big point, you see. And if you add some tons of glue, all green stuff, all effects, it actually looks like it's melted to the gun. And it's really strong. It was looking good already. So touch up the glue now. Put a small weld across here, as you can't even see. Just because I want to overkill it. You'll be able to see all this, by the way. You can barely see it now. Where's painting? You won't even see it. And I'm just going to show you this one really quick. They stripped it. And I could get all the fiber off. I didn't have any arms. It's just a spare arm I had. Any neck will do. You don't need anything specific. This is the wrong side arm, but it doesn't matter. Cut off the elbow joint, so keep it in the detail. Good. Shove off the flash. Okay, and then scrape this off like this. You have to scrape this off. This is the only way you'll get to um, stay down properly. There's a few sort of fiber paint on your heavy destroyer. You can use super glue, I suppose, but this is a lot stronger. Stick off there. Took the arm in. Make sure they all, make sure they all nice and wet. Don't let them dry. Same spot, same with the gun. Check him in there. I'll get some of it so it's nice and cool. Like that looks all right. Yeah, that looks good. And there you go. Boom. I just hold it on blue tack it is dry. Repeat. And I'll get some green stuff. And if you go with green stuff, you can do amazing effects. That's if you, you if you were good. Check in the back of the gun like this. Squeeze it in there. Make sure it's a nice tight fit so it won't come out. You don't need to use glue for this. It'll actually connect the pipes inside it. It'll be a solid connection. So just push it in there with your scalping tool. Slash candle wax tool. <laughs> These are actually candle wax tools for one pound. Slash dollar. I just do a quick um, design here. Yeah? I do events on this one because that's what the original gas the Gauss's gun has for the warriors. So, yeah, I just oversize it. You can do V's, you can do anything. You use a neck for the side I did, just the sake of it. So yeah, why not? You have to have one neck with side on there. And there you go! All done. Nine how destroyers. It doesn't cost you 90 quid upgrades. And it's not very crap. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more videos in the future. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. See you next time.